A powerful beast arose from the depths of the late Permian period's primitive world, which harbored countless threats. This creature, which stood head and shoulders above its contemporaries and could grow up to 10 feet long and weigh several hundred kilograms, was a giant of horror. Its sheer enormity was enough to chill everyone who came into contact with it. It was the reign of Scutosaurus. A fascinating prehistoric animal called the Scutosaurus lived on Earth between 260 and 252 million years ago during the late Permian Epoch. It was a sizable herbivorous reptile that belonged to the Pereosaur family. Scutosaurus grew to a length of 10 to 13 feet, according to estimates. The entire body, from the end of the snout to the tip of the tail, is taken into account in this measurement. Although individual sizes may have varied, this represents the species' typical range. Scutosaurus is thought to have had a rather low and broad profile, despite the lack of precise information regarding its height. This can be deduced by the body's shape and the placement of its limbs, which point to a sprawling posture. It might be difficult to estimate an extinct animal's weight because it depends on things like body composition and way of life. However, it is likely that Scutosaurus was extremely hefty considering its massive size and strong construction. Its exact weight is unknown. However, estimates indicate that it may have weighed several hundred kilograms, if not more. The Scutosaurus cranium possessed a number of distinctive characteristics. Scutosaurus had a rather big, flat and broad head. When viewed from the side, it had a rounded profile. The presence of a bony cap, known as a boss, on the top of the head of the Scutosaurus was one distinguishing characteristic of its skull. This boss, which most likely consisted of fused bone plates, was thicker and rougher than usual. This structure's specific function is unknown, however it may have been used as a display element for courtship or territorial behavior. As with modern herbivores like bighorn sheep, it could have also been utilized in headbutting competitions between rival individuals. Large and widely spread nasal apertures were present in Scutosaurus. The olfactory system would have fit into these apertures, enabling the animal to have an acute sense of smell. This could have helped with foraging, predator detection, and perhaps even spotting possible mates. Large eye apertures in the skull of the Scutosaurus suggest that the animal had quite large eyes. This shows that it might have had acute eyesight, which may have helped it spot predators or find food. The armor that covered Scutosaurus' body was one of its most noticeable characteristics. Scutosaurus had osteoderms, which are thick bone plates covering its back, flanks, and tail. The osteoderm served as the animal's defense mechanism against prospective predators. The bone plates were buried beneath the skin, adding another line of defense. On Scutosaurus, the osteoderms were organized in transverse bands or rows. Along the body, these bands of osteoderms formed a recognizable pattern. This configuration most likely increased structural support and flexibility while maintaining the armor's overall stiffness. Scutosaurus had long, well-developed forelimbs. They were located below the body and possessed thick bones, which suggested strength and support. Strong claws that were at the end of the forelimbs may have been employed for defense or other purposes like digging. Scutosaurus' hind limbs were as strong and resilient as its forelimbs. They were directly below the body, suggesting a sprawled stance. This limb arrangement indicates that Scutosaurus had a sprawling locomotion, with the limbs spread out to the sides of the body rather than beneath it. Due to its thick limb shape, Scutosaurus most likely had a sluggish and heavy gait. Its huge body would have been supported by its sprawled position, which also added to its stability when walking or moving. Scutosaurus had a tail that was relatively short in relation to its body size. It would have been a sizable but proportionally shorter extension of the body, but specific measurements may vary. The size of each individual animal would have determined the length of the tail. The tail probably contributed to the animal's ability to stay stable and in balance while moving. Scutosaurus would have used its tail to help balance its body weight because it was a heavy-bodied animal. The use of the tail for intraspecific communication, such as signaling during mate-seeking displays or encounters with conspecifics, is also possible. The specialized dentition of Scutosaurus was ideal for its herbivorous diet. Scutosaurus's teeth were modified to grind and break down difficult plant matter. Scutosaurus possessed teeth with broad, flat crowns. This form made it easier to crush and grind vegetation. The flattened crowns offered more surface area for chewing, which effectively broke down plant stuff. The Earth's environment was very different from what it is today between 252 and 248 million years ago when Scutosaurus existed in the late Permian Epoch. 
the major land masses were united to form the supercontinent Pangaea during the late Permian. This enormous landmass had a significant impact on climate patterns, resulting in diverse climate conditions in various places. A large portion of Pangaea's interior, including the region where Scutosaurus resided, current-day Russia, was characterized by arid to semi-arid weather. Long dry seasons and relatively little precipitation were common in these areas. The absence of substantial mountain ranges that may produce rainfall through orographic processes was the cause of this aridity. Sea levels fluctuated during the late Permian, going through periods of transgression and regression. According to variations in sea level, this meant that coastal areas might have alternately been flooded or exposed. However, because it was a terrestrial reptile, Scutosaurus was not immediately impacted by these changes in sea level. Throughout the late Permian epoch, Scutosaurus lived on land. It is thought that Scutosaurus lived in floodplain regions close to rivers or lakes. These places offered a reptile a combination of flora, water sources, and an appropriate habitat. Seasonal floods would have occurred in the floodplains, which would have had an impact on the dynamics of the entire ecosystem and the availability of resources. The supercontinent Pangaea's interior was home to Scutosaurus. It lived in regions devoid of coastlines and distinguished by vast plains and extensive river networks. This shows that it most likely lived in areas on the continent that weren't coastal. The existence of Scutosaurus osteoderms and its herbivorous dentition suggest that vegetation made up the majority of the animal's diet. There would have been an abundance of plant resources in the floodplain environments where Scutosaurus lived, including ferns, horsetails, cycads, and other kinds of flora typical during the time of the late Permian. Scutosaurus would have primarily consumed these plants as food. Scutosaurus has teeth that were well suited for digesting and grinding plant matter. Its teeth had flat, wide crowns that made it easier to grind and crush vegetation with efficiency. The teeth's flattened shape gave them a wider surface area, which helped them chew through tough plant material more easily. Unknown are the specifics of Scutosaurus's mating behavior. It's probable that males performed courtship rituals or displays to entice females, just like some contemporary reptiles do. In the absence of concrete proof, however, the precise mechanisms and behaviors connected with mating are speculative. Scutosaurus is thought to have been oviparous, which means that it laid eggs to reproduce. Eggs would have been produced by the females and then laid in appropriate nesting locations. Although the exact number of eggs that Scutosaurus females laid in a single clutch is unclear, this is likely the case. It would have depended on elements including female size, reproductive investment, and environmental variables. Clutches of eggs can vary in size among reptiles. Scutosaurus lived during the late Permian period, which was marked by the largest mass extinction catastrophe in Earth's history known as the Permian-Triassic Extinction Event, or the Great Dying. However, the precise cause of its extinction is not widely known. Approximately 96% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial species, including Scutosaurus, became extinct as a result of this event. There were major environmental changes related to the Permian-Triassic extinction event. Multiple variables, including intense volcanic activity, greenhouse gas emissions, climate change, and a scarcity of oxygen are thought to have contributed to the altered global climate conditions. Ecosystems, particularly the habitats and food sources of Scutosaurus, may have been affected by these changes. So this was all about Scutosaurus. If you want to get more such updates, hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel. Also, let us know in the comment section how you find it. By knowing about unique species, we get an idea of how the world, climate, and wilderness was in historic times. We get to know about several new concepts we never knew ever existed. Did you know that there lived a creature named Limusaurus? Click the video on your screen to know more about it.